we are back. JC, wrong to strong. Do you think that you can pay your way out of a federal life sentence? Hmm. I didn't have the money to do it, but there is some people that have the money. From December 2006 to September 2015, Mexico has received more than 1,250 requests of extradition, extradition from the U.S., which only 922 were approved by Mexico. I guess I was one of the lucky ones that was transferred in the late 90s, and I made it. So, uh, what's yeah. up? JC. I told you I like saying that. I told you guys I was gonna be serious this week. It's like my serious week. <laughs> I can't I can't be serious, man. It's just not me. It's not me. Even through everything I've been through and everything I've done, laughter has been like the number one thing that's kept me from fucking going crazy. It's the only fucking thing. That's all I got. That's all I got. So, let's talk about this, man. Over the last decade, like nine, not no, over the last decade, 922 Mexicans, criminals, highly prof profile drug traffickers have been extradited to the U.S. I was on one of those planes with a lot of those people. It was crazy too because they put us on a plane with like the Mexican army and the federal federales and like they all have like machine guns and fucking bazooka launcher. <laughs> Not just play that bazooka launcher. But like it's this big fucking show, right? And I'll never forget the day that they came and got me because I was in the, the Mexican prison I was at in uh, San Luis Potosí, El Cerezo, and I was like, I was drunk, I was coked out, paranoid like a motherfucker, so when they called my name, you know, uh, uh, I came out and they were like, hey, they want you in front. And I was like, what the fuck wants me in front? So I went up and it was actually like the American consul and some uh, marshals. So, you know, they start cuffing me right away. Like they don't even give you a chance because I guess they don't want you to like let nobody know that you're getting transferred or whatever. They start cuffing me and they're like, you know, don't try to escape because if you do, we're going to use force. And I'm like, dude, I've been fucking waiting for four years to go home like I would rather be in America than be in the Mexican prison like so like I was like dude I just I just want to go home so they put us on the jet and we went from they had already came from Mexico City from like Oaxaca Mexico City they did all these jumps then they went from San Luis Potosí to Saltillo to Monterrey to Juarez. And we stopped at all these prisons because we stopped in Monterrey at Topo Chico. Then we, we ended up at Juarez and we were there for some time. And then they made the jump over to Latuna Federal Prison and they brought us all over. On that plane, there were some pretty high profile guys. And to be honest, I guess I was the the little guy of of the plane i was el pollo i was you know i was young um little guy you know what i mean but there were some pretty big guys on that plane and we all got it you know turned over to the uh, american federal government they were waiting for us at the airport walked us off the plane and you know cuffed us exchanged paperwork and the mexicans went their way and they took us to latuna federal prison um if you think that these guys are not able to pay
pay their way out of life sentences, you're, you're really, really wrong. Because in February of 24, 2013, Eduardo Arellano Felix was going to be sentenced. He was the leader of the Tijuana cartel. And he had, you know, uh, was going to get sentenced to a life sentence. But he had reached an agreement with the U.S. where he would pay... He signed a plea agreement and he would pay $50 million and plead guilty to all the all the things. Of course, the judge would exonerate him from like, I don't know how many counts of drug trafficking, blah, blah, blah. And he would only end up doing 15 years in prison. So the sentences are cut short for large sums of money. And guilty pleas that is the key word the federal government wants guilty pleas they want you to sign that paper and say yes i am guilty and i'll get into another video uh about alfredo beltran leva el mochomo the desert um desert ant that's what it means mochomo um but they want they want that that piece of paper signed that's the key word plead guilty now i didn't have fucking 50 million dollars i wish i only got up to one and that was like barely there <laughs> barely there barely and after like i i uh, i bought all my cars and house and stuff like that i only had like half left in my closet and like boxes <laughs> fuck man i think about all that money that i had at one time and i did nothing with it and to come home and not have shit like nothing when i came home i didn't have, all i had was the, the clothes on my back and then my sister helped me get my phone and i had like a couple people help me here and there but like it was like crunch time. I had to get to work. I had to like build something. I had to do something. And, you know, uh, I was telling the story today to one of my clients where she asked me how I decided that I was going to be a, a personal trainer. And, you know, it, it all happened in prison. But let me finish this fucking topic before I fucking jump into another one. That's my problem is that I have so many fucking stories that I go from one side to another, then I go fucking crazy. So, sorry guys. It is what it is. I'm a little fucking burnt out, you know. Did a lot of stuff in my time. So, yeah, I think that's why I'm always happy. <laughs> Anyways, like I said, guilty pleas is the key word. The U.S. federal government wants you to say, I am guilty. Here's $50 million. Give me my 15 years. Because honestly, after having all that money and you, if you have, you know, $200 million and you give up 50 and, and you do 15 years, trust me, you're going to get out and you're still going to live a really good life. I met, I met a dude in the feds that was one of uh, the Kylie's main plight. Uh, he used to fly all the stuff to Florida, blah, blah, blah. His name was Mocho. He had one arm cut off. He had a little arm, not cut off, let me rephrase that. He had a little arm, but he was one of the main, main dudes. And that motherfucker got out and he was balling. He did his 15 years, he was balling and living good. I mean, shit, I would do 15 years if I had $100 million as soon as I got out. You know what I mean? So the, the three Arellano Felix brothers paid a total amount of $200 million to the U.S. This helped uh, Benjamin get a 20-year prison sentence and not a life sentence um the, and it just went on francisco the youngest one he got 23 years also instead of you know so you add that up that's 200 million dollars um uh it's crazy because money talks bullshit walks i mean i guess everywhere you know uh Ociel from the uh golf cartel he had like 12 counts of drug trafficking, money, money laundering. And you know, that's really big, a big case in the U.S. And he was extradited to Texas and he was facing a life sentence. He only ended up getting 25 years because he coughed up $50 million and provided information. 
and this is not safe. He sent this Sambala. He's expected to give one million dollars plus info. El Chino Anthrax as well, you know, a million dollars plus info. And that's the thing. When I said on my last video that El Chapo was the only one to not cut a deal, I was stating in the fact of like coughing up money, coughing up information, and, and stuff like that. Because, yeah, Alfredo Beltran Leyva was arrested also. He also did not cut a deal. But, I'll tell you on the next video what he didn't do. And that's the thing is that the federal government, the feds, man, like I told you in all my videos, I do not glamorize what I've done in the past or who I know or in what circles I ran. I do not glamorize nothing whatsoever. I share this information so you guys could actually learn from this. If you have a loved one that's you know heading that route or going that route, uh, maybe you can talk some sense into him. 17 years of my life incarcerated was not worth one dime of that blood money. It wasn't. It wasn't. I saw my kids grow up without me. My, my daughters are 22, 23 years old and I never got to see nothing. Not first day of school, not boyfriends, nothing. And it was not not worth it, man. I do not care that I was wearing chinchilla coats. I do not care that I was driving Maseratis. I don't care that I was doing none of that fucking stuff because at the end of the day, look at me. I came out without fucking nothing. Nothing. I was walking to work at 2.45 a.m. trying to get to the gym to have my first client at 3.30 in the morning. <sighs> yeah. Fuck that. Fuck that life. Fuck that cage. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. At the end of the day, you end up in prison for life or you end up dead. And you know what? If you ain't one of the top, top dogs where you are making $250 million like that, you're not going to get out of a life sentence. And trust me, I've seen a lot of average Joes just like me in there with life sentences that are never coming home and never going to see their loved ones again because they chose to live an easy, fast life. Not for me, man. This is why I'm out here busting my ass. This is why I created my brand. This is why I have my nonprofit. This is why I spend time in the prison because I will not let another kid like me make the decisions or be mentored by people like I got mentored as a kid to make believe that that was actually a glamorous life. It's not. It's not all what it's cut out to be. Trust me. And this is what it is, man. This is what my channel is. I, I share information, my life. It's all connected to my life, my struggles, everything. My name is JC. I am Wrong the Strong. This is my channel. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Hit the like button. Leave a comment. And tell you tell your people about my channel. Spread the word. This is a movement. Wrong or strong is a lifestyle. It's not a quick change. Don't judge nobody. Give somebody a hug. And stay in your lane. Mind your own business. That's all I got to say. JC, I love you guys.